My diamonds waiting cost me money. Who's gonna buy a calendar in April? Models don't speak. We'll make it quick. I gotta go get Rachel so she can come see how shitty your boyfriend's poetry is and then I will block his cock. Look! Over your shoulder! It's the douche! It's that guy! It's... It's... Captain Cockblock! They call me Captain Cockblock. So you're at a bar with a fine girl wearing a crop top. And she's digging your style, she likes the way you talk shop You're making all the right moves, this girl is on your hot job That's when I come in the picture with the plot stop Hey man, she's really cute You gonna take her back to your parents' basement tonight? You know, where you live? <laughs> yo, that's a clip from, um I don't even know how to explain this YouTube channel, Heather B mm -hmm. Epic Lloyd You know, I, I, I have no idea how it was thought of, how it became, but I could tell why it got so popular. And I wanted to invite the creator of it all uh, to the show today just to kind of break it down. The one and only Lo Lloyd Alquist is here, ladies and Lloyd. gentlemen. Lloyd, what's up? What's up? up? Now, Good morning. that sounds crazy to people tuning in on the radio like, Sway, what is it that you're playing? You know, break down what it is you do on your YouTube channel. Um, <clears throat> I do, I mean, the thing I'm most known for is Epic Rap Battles of History, and that's on the Epic Rap Battles of History channel. And then my channel is uh, youtube.com slash Epic Lloyd. And I do rap music, and I do uh, a show called Dis Raps for Hire, and then this new show is called Epic Studios, uh -huh. which is like a, a workplace comedy type of a show about a guy who inherits a failing studio and then has to try to keep it alive. But there's like funny songs in each episode. So go ahead, go ahead. Yeah, I keep it varied. I do lots of different stuff. I do lots of different stuff. Where does it come from, man? Like one day you woke up and said, I'm going to do like an epic rap battle with Adolf Hitler. <laughs> like, 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 where, does it, where does this come from, man? I mean, I, I, um, I come from an improv comedy background. Okay. So in Chicago, doing like um, Improv Olympic and Second City and Mission Improvable is the name of the group that I toured with for a long time. And um, so, but I always did rap kind of like in on the side as something that, I didn't have to be funny at. Yeah. Um, so I started writing rap songs and doing one-man shows and stuff. And then when I got to L.A., we did a freestyle show, and we were like, let's do a rap battle between, like, celebrities. And that, my, my other friend turned it into a YouTube show with me, and then it just kind of all went from there. And then I had all this freedom to do anything I wanted to because there was these people who were excited to watch anything that we did. So we're like, what if we made a, an epic rap battles of history show? What if we did a behind the scenes? What if we did a, an anti-bullying show? So we do diss raps for hire where kids email me and they're like, yo, my brother's beating me up and he's like this. So then I like rip his ass. And like, you know, it's like revenge raps. Like um, so yeah, and Epic Studios was me just being like, I want to do some acting. I want to like tell a story. Yeah. So uh, my friends uh, Aaron and Jill, they 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 helped me write it, and we we all came together um, and we pitched it up at JFL at uh, Montreal, and then that was like two and a half years ago, and then we've just been working on it since, and yeah. it drops tomorrow. How many followers you have, subscribers you have to your channel now? Uh, Epic Rap Battles History has fourteen million. Fourteen Ooh, million boy. subscribers. Yeah. Wow. wow. Nice. Are you kidding me? Now, how yeah. long has the channel been around? 2010 we started. Yeah, seven yeah. years, 14. That's, that's two million Still. a year. Mm -hmm. um, you yeah. saw my math. Um, and I <laughs> that was learned, good. And, and I learned math through rap. And, you know, it's in interesting because um, Dougie Fresh used to do these child book stories, these child uh -huh. uh, story books, um, audio books, mm -hmm. oh, cool. where he would rap these stories um, years ago he was mm -hmm. doing this mm -hmm. and in it you will learn at the same time so they're being utilized as tools in uh, school districts and their curriculum and so what I liked about the epic rap battles is that you get to learn a little bit about history yeah right yeah I mean for sure for yeah. sure and uh, I mean we've been like there was one lady who was like we were like the focus of like her master's thesis like uh -huh. she like was like hey can we get this thing i was like all right like i never really was went into it thinking that that's what it was going to be but the guy i do the project with pete shukoff mm -hmm. he he and i just dug into it and just started being like we have to do this accurately or else it's sort yeah. of just a parody yeah. uh -huh. it's sort yeah. of just like you know it's like clickbait be like oh do a mm -hmm. comic book character but if like you actually say something that somebody who really is into the mario brothers is gonna dig, yeah. Then it goes, it does it better. 
So uh, okay, so then let me ask about this Adolf Hitler one because I know you probably <laughs> sat there and debated for a while. Like, is this really a good idea to do this one, or because you know it's like people will get offended at the slightest thing, and I know Hitler is a very touchy subject for a lot of people. So yeah, what what, what went into that planning one? Well, that was the second episode we ever did, and we don't choose the matchup specifically. We asked the audience, which was part of why the show was successful at at first. Um, uh, and that, for some reason, that was like the big one was like Adolf Hitler versus Darth Vader, Adolf Hitler versus Darth Vader, Adolf Hitler. And we were like, all right. Um, but the, I think the bigger picture there was, do we make a Holocaust joke? Mm. And it was like, are we going to make, are we going to actually say it? And I was like, look, man, I'm not going to do it unless we say something about it because it's more insulting to the survivors of the Holocaust and to the victims of the Holocaust to not say something. Yeah. So we had to say something. And then we just kill Hitler at the end of every episode. Which Perfect. Perfect. Oh. Everybody's happy. Yay! <laughs> All right, man. Well, okay, so uh, tomorrow you're releasing a new comedy music series, Epic Studios, um, on YouTube. Uh, mm-hmm. 13 episodes scripted series right yeah yeah we do um we're releasing for four weeks in a row tomorrow we release the first four episodes and then every consecutive wednesday um until we hit 13 episodes um so we'll do like small batch like four episodes then three the next week then three the next week then three the next week i think that's the right math okay. until we okay. get to 13 all right what's yeah. your social media if people want to uh, reach you um instagram and twitter is uh at the epic lloyd and then facebook is just epic lloyd uh Cause I have to do the the, cause people steal your name. Yeah, they got yeah, get you, yeah. man. man. When you when you got 14 million subscribers, they, they'll steal your identity. It's bro. like one seven year old in Wisconsin just holding <laughs> on, <laughs> holding on. You know what I mean? Just like no, I sell it to you. I know. Oh, I you like, know. I was like, <laughs> how much? Yeah, right. <laughs> Eighteen dollars. I was like, no, on principle. <laughs> damn, did you really try to sell? It? No. no. Okay, <laughs> okay, damn. Your Lloyd is good, man. I like this. <laughs> hey, man. Um, you. You you know where you are, right? You are you familiar with the show at all? Yeah. This show, Sway the Morning Show. I'm in the land of a certain uh, carnivorous <laughs> animal. Yes. That roams in the jungle. The hyena. The hyena! <laughs> yes, yes, yes. So I, I want to put you. I want to put you and your characters to test. Okay. And because uh, I know you do a Macho Man, right? Mm-hmm. You do a Bill O'Reilly. Oh, yeah. You do a Terminator. Yeah. Right. You do a James Bond, and, and you do a Donald Trump. Yeah. Yeah. So I want to see if we can have all those characters participate in a, a, a segment we do called the Five Fingers of Death. Oh my God! You are now entering the Five Fingers of Death. DJ Wonder plays five unique beats meant to test your lyrical stamina. I saw the look in his eyes. This guy is crazy. Many have tried. I'm the best. Yeah. This is just another chance for me to prove it. But Ready for this many one? have yeah. failed. Just give me the order. I'm going to have to figure it out. It's the five fingers of death. 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 All right, here we go. We got Epic Lloyd here. The Epic Lloyd on social media. He brought some friends with him. This is the first time ever we're going to have five different people do the five fingers of death. Sway in the morning. Shave four or five. Epic Lloyd is on you. Where the macho man at, man? Ooh. Ah. Ooh, yeah. Ah. Oh, yeah. About to go on the five fingers of death. Ooh, yeah. Sway in the morning. Uh, going to do my thing till all y'all be morning. Ah, uh, I got things and I'll bust your throat. Jumping off the top rope. Ooh, yeah. I got concentration in the whole World Wrestling Federation. That's okay, you'll get choking. After swear in the morning, I'ma get Hulk Hogan. Yo, where Bill O'Reilly at, man? You oh, see him lately, man? They man. kicked him off of Fox. Ah, oh, fuck. We'll have to do it live. Man, all these chicks in the radio won't survive. Because I get ass grabby. Yo, if you get up to me, I might get crabby. Oh, that's all right, man. I got the excuse. I'm the illest thing ever seen on Fox News. Ooh, come at me in my coat and tie. I will be the guy who survives the jungle when I come out and bungle. I got to switch to my next guy. Is that the Terminator, man? Wrong. I am the Terminator. I come at you faster than a refrigerator. Ooh, it's me. I am the MC. I will terminate Sway and Heather B. Oh, it's I. I come to your arena. I will slaughter all of your hyenas. Oh, no, now I get to flow. I got that gun in my toe. (laughs) Here comes the president. Everybody stand at attention. Here comes the president, man. The president. Oh, yeah, Donald Trump. I'm fantastic. I don't even need to rhyme in this beat. 
My raps are fantastic. I freestyle. I have the most tremendous freestyles. Uh, I'm like Orange is the new uh, white supremacist. That's my name. I come out. I also wear a marmot on my head. Uh, who's around? What's my vice president's name? It doesn't even really matter. He doesn't do anything. He basically looks like a retired G.I. Joe character. Wait a minute. Who, who's that, man? The coolest dude ever to hit Hollywood. Is that 007? Yes. James Bond. James Bond. James Bond came to rap. I come at you when I'm on the attack. Oh, that's okay. I'll bust up your leg. I'm the old version, not that bitch Daniel Craig. Oh. Uh, <laughs> that's all good. I get all up and understood. Ugh. I wear lots of leather and fur, and I drink my martini shaken, not stirred. Oh! <laughs> yes! That's wow. the five figures of death. Floyd Alquist is here, ladies and gentlemen. Wow. That was great, man. Yeah. Yeah, man. You brought all those people to the show all in one morning, man. <laughs> oh, man. Well, bro, c continue success in what you're doing, Definitely. man. Thank you very much, Definitely. man. Very entertaining. What, is, what else is next for you, man? I know you, you have dreams of winning an Oscar. Oh, man. Uh, I would love to win an Oscar. Um, we got nominated for an Emmy last year, and that was pretty amazing. Yeah. Uh -huh. I think uh, Epic Studios season one is great. I'd love to do another season. You know, I, I think it, it'll go well. I think people will enjoy it. Mm -hmm. um, I'd love to come back to New York. Anytime you guys need a couple more characters, you know, I got to. You got us? <laughs> that was fire. Uh, yeah. Yeah, man. And if you ever need our voices, us to lend our voices, let us know, <laughs> man. All right? Yeah. yeah All right? Yeah. All right. All right, Lloyd, man, thank you for coming no through, man. Doubt. Epic that Lloyd, man. That was dope, wow. man. That Thanks was dope, guys. man. Good luck, too, man. Yeah. It's Sway in the Morning, only on Shade 45. Kimmel.